Welcome back to our channel Prash. Learning is fun. In this module, let us know about lens makers formula from physics under the topic refraction of light at curved surfaces. So it is also called as lens makers equation. The focal length of the lens is related to the radius of curvature of its front and back surfaces and the refractive index of the material. This is called lens makers equation. So this equation is given by 1 by f is equal to n minus 1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2. Where do we find, use this equation? This equation is used by the lens manufacturers to make lenses of particular power from the glass of the given refractive index. Let's move into the derivation part. Place a thin convex lens. of refractive index nb in a medium of refractive index n of a so this is placed in a refractive index n of a and the lens refractive index is n of b let o be the optic center so for this first surface this is our center of curvature c1 and for the second surface this is the center of curvature c2 and line joining center of curvature and the optic center is called the principal axis so i am drawing the principal axis here and the distance between the optic center and the center of curvature is called as radius of curvature so this is c1 this is the distance so this will become my r1 radius of curvature of first surface and the distance between optic center and c2 will become my radius of curvature for the second surface Okay, now let us consider a point object. I am placing a point object on the principal axis O. So let the ray from this object is incident on the convex surface at A. So let us draw an incident ray which is falling on the first surface at point A. So this is my incident ray. Okay, from, th from this incident ray, here at point A, the ray gets refracted and it forms an image on the other side. So, let me draw a ray. So, let is, this is the refracted ray, okay, which is forming an image. And here we can see the point of intersection of principal axis and the refracted ray. And this point of intersection I am taking it as I dash. Okay. So the ray is falling from. Now here we have to consider that second surface is not present. So we have to assume that there is no second surface. So for the first surface. This is the first surface. That means convex surface. When a ray of light is falling at A. At this point the ray is refracting and forming an image on I dash. We are considering that there is no second surface, assuming that there is no second surface. So applying equation of curved surface for the first surface. Okay. Now we know the equation of curved surface we have already derived in the previous module. Okay. Now we are going to apply the equation for the curved surface. Here the object is in rarer medium. So when the object is in rarer medium, then the equation for the curved surface will be n2 by v minus n1 by u is equal to 1 by r into n2 minus n1. So this is the equation for the curved surface where the object is placed in the rarer medium. Okay. So for first surface we are applying for first surface. First for first surface. What is N2? N2 is the refractive index of the denser medium. That is nothing but the lens. So, here N2 is Nb. Next, N1 is the refractive index of the rarer medium. That is nothing but Na. So, N1 is equal to Na. And what will be the radius of curvature for the first surface? This is the first surface, right? So, for this first surface, the radius of curvature is R1. So, R is equal to R1. Now, where is the object? U is the object distance. Where is the object? Object is here. So, the object distance will be distance from the optic center to object. So, let me draw this. The distance between the 
optic center and object will be given by distance u and this u is negative you all know that why because we are measuring in the direction opposite to the incident ray so u will be negative so here we will get u as minus u next v v is the image distance where is the image image is at a distance of i dash so the distance between optic center and the i dash will become my image distance so this is my image distance that is nothing but i will take it as x i don't know what the distance be so let this distance be x so i will take it as v as x now substituting these values in the e equation so n2 is nb by v is x minus n1 is n of a by u is minus u is equal to 1 by r is r1 is into what is n2 n2 is nb minus n1 is n of a so let this equation now i'll rewrite by changing the sign n of b by x plus n of a by u is equal to 1 by r1 into n of b minus n of a let this equation be equation number 1 to find the first equation we have considered that there is no second surface now we have to include the second surface this second surface is a concave surface for the object right so this is our concave surface so at this concave surface the ray will undergo another refraction at point b so because of this concave surface we will get another image so here the radius of curvature for the for this concave surface will be r2 okay and this r2 we are measuring opposite to the direction of incident ray so it becomes minus r2 okay now at this point b the ray will undergo another refraction and because for this another refraction this image i dash will become object for this surface okay so i dash becomes the object for this surface and because of that object you will get an another image at uh, at i so let us suppose we have got an image at i so this is the image so this is the image and this is our object for the concave surface okay i dash is the object for concave surface and i is the image for the concave surface so now now let us apply i equation of curved surfaces for the second surface that is nothing but a concave surface okay so we have got an equation for the first surface now let us write the equation for the second surface so for second surface for second surface here also object is in object is in rarer medium so this is our i dash is our object and i is our image okay so for the object in rarer medium so we have the equation n2 by v minus n1 by u is equal to 1 by r into n2 minus n1 so for the second surfaces what is n2 n2 is nothing but n of a here this is the refractive index in air medium and n1 will be the refractive index of the denser medium so n2 we have n of a and n1 will be n of b and what is u here u is the object distance and which the object distance is x we have already taken it as x so u will be u will be x and what is v we let us take it as v only because we don't know what is the distance between object and i so this distance i am taking it as v so let me draw this so this is object and this is our image v this is our image v so the distance between optic center and image is v i am taking okay up to here okay right so now so we get e is i am taking it as v and what is r r is the radius of curvature for the second surface so radius of curvature for the second surface just now i have told that it is minus r2 so i will take it as minus r2 so i will rewrite the equation on substituting these values so on rewriting the equation n2 is n of a by v is v minus n1 is n of b by u is x is equal to 1 by r into 1 by r is minus r minus r2 
by n2 is n of a minus n of b. So I'll just rewrite the equation. I'll get n of a by b minus n of b by x is equal to this minus I'm taking inside. So it becomes r2 into n of b minus n of a. So let this equation be equation number 2. Now I will add both the equation, equation 1 and 2. So on adding equation 1 and 2 I will get, so equation 1 I got n of b by x plus n of a by u plus second equation is n of a by v minus n of b by x is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2. I am ta taking n of b minus n of a as common. So here n of b of x minus and this is plus so the, they both gets cancelled. So n of a by u plus n of a by v is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 into n of b minus n of a. Now I will divide this whole equation with n a on both sides. So dividing with n of a on both sides. So on dividing both sides I will get n of a by u into 1 by n of a plus n of a by v into 1 by n of a is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 into n of b minus n of a by n of a. Right, so here n of a, n of a get cancel each other. So I'll get 1 by u plus 1 by v is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 into n of b by n of a minus n of a by n of a it becomes 1. Okay, and we know that n of b by n of a is called the refractive index of lens with respect to the surrounding medium. Okay, so we can rewrite n of b by n of a as n of b a. This can be rewrite like this because n of b by n of a is the refractive index of the lens with respect to the surrounding medium. Okay, so this equation. So the equation is called the equation for a convex lens. Okay, but we analyze this relation. We have to use sign convention. So applying sign convention for this specific case, we get. So here u is equal to minus u. Applying sign convention. This is we are moving opposite to the direction of incident ray. So it is minus u. And R2 is also minus because here R2 distance also we are measuring opposite to the direction of the incident ray. So U will be minus U and R2 will be minus R2. So applying these two sign conventions for this specific case we will get substituting these values in the equation. So we will get 1 by minus U plus 1 by V is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by minus r2 into nba minus 1 so we will get 1 by v minus 1 by u is equal to 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 into nba minus 1 so we know that 1 by v minus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f so 1 by v minus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f this is a lens formula. So I am rewriting the equation 1 by f is equal to 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 into nba minus 1. The surrounding medium is a then the refractive index could be absolute refractive index of the lens. Then what happens na will become na will be 1 and n of b will become n. So I have to rewrite this equation 1 by f is equal to 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 into n minus 1. So this is called the as a lens makers formula or lens equation. Lens maker.
मेगस इक्वेशन मेगस इक्वेशन दिस इक्वेशन इज यूज ओनली व्हेन द लेंस इज केप्ड इन एयर एंड कैन बी यूज फॉर एनी थिन लेंस ओके रिमेंबर व्हाइल यूजिंग दिस फार्मूला यू शुड नेवर फॉरगेट टू अप्लाई साइन कन्वेंशन ओके सो दिस इज आवर इक्वेशन लेंस मेकर्स इक्वेशन